In 2007, Call of Duty Modern Warfare will arrive to redefine the franchise, although not before temporarily returning to World War II with War at War. In any case, Call of Duty Modern Warfare will come from the hands of Infinity World, composed of a team of over 100 people and with two years of development. It will be during the development of this story that the concept of the three Modern Warfare game will emerge. The game will make use of the IW Engine 3, which brought new features such as dynamic lightning, HDR lightning, dynamic shadows and depth of field effects. The leap from Call of Duty 3 to this game was quite significant, especially due to the quality of the textures and lightning. The characters became more realistic, the shadows more detailed and defined, with many dynamic shadows for movable objects. The textures were of a higher quality and the particle effects and explosions were greatly improved. Even though we played the Call of Duty 3 in the previous video using an emulator of 4K resolution, the improvement to this game is still very noticeable. Even so, while the multiplier is always the strong point of the game, the graphics from my point of view always shine is through the campaign, which feels spectacular, filled with um, stunts and acrobatics worthy of action movies, chase and heroes, and villains worthy of James Bond films. Although the lightning in some areas is basic, it still looks good and provides a pleasant effect. However, there are some criticisms. The draw distance is not the best, and objects and plants can be seen appearing or changing quality as the player moves closer or further away without any smooth transitions. While the shadows were improved and dynamically so, there was still an evident cascade effect when approaching objects. Some elements were clearly simply 2D textures, giving the illusion of 3D. One detail I keep noticing while playing the game is that I don't see any evidence of ambient occlusion, resulting in certain objects being incorrectly illuminated or other appearing to float in the environment. I am not sure if this is just my appreciation or I just not being able to see or what I'm expecting to see as ambient occlusion. However, and despite these critiques, at the time of its release, Call of Duty Modern Warfare was one of the most visually spectacular FPS games, running at 60 FPS on both Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, which was an impressive feat for that era. In November 2008, Call of Duty will not miss its annual appointment, now again by the hand of Treyer, who will still stay with the World War team, to which we will not return for 9 years. This game will continue using the engine developed by Infinity War, the IW3, however some improvements were made, although these were more direct to the physics. The scenarios were more destructible and could catch fire with the flamethrower and its flame also were able to spread. There were dismemberments, more realistic skin, and fabrics that were able to burn. That is officially at least what I can find. However, it's my very particular opinion that while I'm playing this game, it gives me the impression that the image is cleaner than the last game, 
sharper. It could be a placebo effect, but that's the feeling it gave me. Beyond that, it's clear that there are no important technical graphical changes, however, there are quite successful effects in place. The first thing that caught my attention was the issue of shadow protection, already in the first scene, and although it is a low resolution, the effect is quite well achieved, and later there is a scene where it is sent as a kind of flare lights to the sky to illuminate, and the light effect is very successful and looks spectacular, at least for the time. The rest is clear, textures, explosions and others effects are up to par with previous games, but clearly with a completely different focus and lightning. Even so, it was and it still is graf graphically quite attractive. Among the issues I will say that we continue to drag the previous problems regarding drawing distances, both of objects and shadows and the missing ambient occlusion, which I couldn't find here. Honestly. In that regard, I see no improvement whatsoever. I suppose it will be a consequence of coming out in the same console generation and using the same engine. Otherwise, in November 2009, Infinity War will return with the second part of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and it will be accompanied by the IW4, and this will be the only game to specifically use this version of the engine, since Treyarch will continue to use an improved version of IW3 and Modern Warfare 3 will use an improved version of IW4. It is difficult to find documentation on engine improvement. However, one element that is explained is that the IW4 now uses a texture streaming system that allows for the use of more textures and better quality without losing performance, allowing for richer and more detailed environments, and I think they are more than evident in the images we have seen of the game so far. Another small detail I was able to appreciate is that while the shadowing drawing distance has not improved, the transition has improved, with a kind of blurriness that makes this change more pleasing to the eyes. Beyond that, I cannot speak of specific changes, since shading, lightning and modeling are not particularly improved beyond the quality of their textures, however the level of spectacle has grown. It is a game with greater ambition and higher production values. Unfortunately, the game still has some of the same problems we had seen before regarding ambient occlusion and drawing distance. In fact, this problem is so evident that in the third level, the infamous airport level, you can see how the airplane wheels are literally squares that improve as you get closer, but it's too clear and it takes you out of the game. Even with all of this, the truth is that all three games shown have proven to be a huge improvement over Call of Duty 3 and have completely different ambitions, and above all, Modern Warfare took the saga to another level, seeking a production level closer to big Hollywood blockbusters. Here I will leave you with a side-by-side -side comparison of the three games so you can see better how they look. And as always, if you like this video, give it a like, a share, and see you in the next one.